Welcome back. I want to take a quick look again uh, at the bond market and take a little bit of a historical look to see how the bond market behaved during critical times in the past. Uh, we have here U.S. Treasuries currently. Uh, we have the 10-year to 338, uh, the one-year to 422. Uh, now, that inversion really has dissipated uh, a lot. We had over 100, 120 basis point inversion at one point where you had more than a full uh, percentage point on the 12 month, more than a 10 year, a lot less now. Um, but we're gonna take a look at what this means. Now, really quick, this is the one month change in yield in the bonds in two things. Notice the one year bond is down 14%. This is the yield is down 14% in the past 30 days, 30 calendar days, one month. Also, the 10-year is also down 14%. Now, other bonds have gone down uh, some, some of them more than that, but we're gonna look at the one and the 10 in particular. Now, uh, take a look at the one month, I'm sorry, the one-year bond is the uh, jagged purple line. It has moved down a lot. The 10-year is the red line. The one-year has come down a lot closer to the 10-year than it was in the past. This is the way it looked in the year 2000. In the year 2000, we had an inverted bond market. The red line is the one year, the black line is the 10 year. The one year was above the 10 year, that's an inverted bond market, and we're talking about August of 2000. And then look what happened, and we all know what happened at the beginning of 2001 and throughout the entire year 2001 with the, the eventual stock market crash. We see the one year crashes, the yield plummets below the 10 year. The red line crosses below the black line. The one year crosses below the 10 year. That was uh, an early signal of something to come. That occurred January of 2001. And if you recall, uh, the stock market really didn't start moving down very rapidly until later on that year 2001. So this crossover occurred first now take a look at this. This is, uh, the red line is the one year, the black line is the 10 year, just like the prior chart. This is a crossover we're talking about. The histogram bars show us the rate of change. In 30 days, how much did these yields change? In particular, notice that the black line really wasn't going, it was going down to some extent, but not as much as the red line. The real movements that occurred during this crossover occurred when the one year plummeted. The one year, January 8th, 2001, around that time, went down 20% in 30 days. That was this huge deceleration, this huge move to the downside in the, on the red line, that's the one year. That is the anatomy of this uh, correction. And that preceded, of course, the stock market correction. Now we take a look at the uh, 2007 charts. Again, one year is a red line. We had an inverted bond market, early 2007. And then the one year crossed below the black line, which is a 10 year. The rate of change we can see is in the same way. And we all know the stock market didn't crash in early 2007. It was later 2007, early 2008. Well, this is the rate of change. Again, here's a crossover that occurred very early on, mid-2007. The red histogram bar show us here, the one year bond went down in 30 days, 18%. That was the real signal. It wasn't so much the 10 year, it's the one year crossing below the black line and crossing below violently. That was the real anatomy of that correction. Fast forward to current uh, present day, and we have here, the red line is the one year, the black line is the 10 year. The one year is still very much above the black line. We can see they're both going down. Uh, not any, anything really to report as of yet. We still have an inverted bond market. The next chart here shows us the rate of speed, meaning that we see here this, now this is present day, this is, these are today's numbers that the one year is going down over the past 30 days, it's declining at a rate of around 14%. Now the black line is also going down at a rate over the past 30 days of around 14%. So the two lines are going down together. That's not a signal. And the one is still above the 10, that's also not a signal. It is very interesting that the bonds are moving down so quickly. 
So what we're really looking for right now, again, this is current uh, present day, 14% down in 30 days in the one year, 14% down in the 10 year. That's not the same thing as what we saw in 2000, 2007, maybe not yet. What we saw in 2000 and 2007 is the one year went down a lot faster than the 10 year did. Uh, that hasn't happened yet. Again, we look back the year 2000, the red line, the one year was a one that really accelerated lower. In 2007, same situation. They went down around 20%. Current present day, we have both lines going down, the one year and the 10 year. They're down around 14%. The, the, you know, actually, they're both going down around 14%, so that's not a signal. But we wanted to talk about this because I found the relationship very interesting. <clears throat> and is it a precursor of something to come? You know, perhaps. We have a very small data set. It's only two pieces of data before present day. So I don't know if that's very, you know, a very reliable approach. But I thought the correlation and, uh, you know, the similarities were quite interesting. We're going to watch these bonds very carefully. And uh, we'll be sure to update you along the way with any significant changes. We hope this has been helpful. We look forward to seeing you back soon.